Well, some families go to a cemetery and use GPS instead of a gravestone to find where their loved one is buried. That's because they chose a natural or green burial. Courtney Garish is here in the studio to explain. Courtney. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That's a well-known phrase. And now you really can return to the earth in a natural way that actually helps the environment. Nestled within the 167 year old Forest Home Cemetery is a relatively new type of burial ground. It's an ashes to ashes, dust to dust type of uh, uh, burial. Jan Van Rens is executive director of Prairie Rest Cemetery, a final resting place that's close to four acres. We have about 150 people who have purchased property here and there are about 50 who are actually buried to date in, in the past 10 years. It's an environmentally friendly approach to burial. This would be an example of a simple burial shroud. Jeff Kletchka, vice president of Prasser Kletchka Funeral Home, picked up on the green burial trend seven years ago. He says it isn't very common yet. I believe in the years to come that this will be a considerable part of our business. In a green burial, the body is not embalmed with a traditional formaldehyde based solution. Instead, a non toxic solution is used and the body must be buried in a container that's 100% biodegradable. So this particular casket that we're looking at is made out of seagrass. They can also be made of pine or bamboo or there's no casket at all. So the family has the option to bury the ground, bury the body in the ground in a simple shroud um, that's supported with a, with a board underneath. That's the pillow. I want to be comfortable. 79 year old Ray Banks of New Berlin has his green burial all planned out right down to what he'll be wrapped in. This is a uh, quilt my wife made for me many years ago. Carol passed away in 2014. She was also buried in a quilt she made. It's the regular service just like any other service only they they don't have the coffin here. In the 70s, the bank saw an article about green burials and knew it's what they wanted. This is what something that appealed to us. Cost wasn't a factor for the banks, but a green burial usually costs less. Families also don't have to buy a headstone. Most commonly, you will see a community memorial, which has all of the names of the people that are laid to rest in that specific section. Prairie Rest is 10 years old and is undergoing a natural restoration. Next year, you're going to see taller grasses. The, the prairie grasses will come. Uh, you're going to see a, a multitude of different colored flowers. And for those who choose to return to the earth in this natural way, there is plenty of room. We probably have 50 to 75 years worth of uh, space. And Forest Home Cemetery is home to two of Southeast Wisconsin's natural cemeteries. There is also a third in Waukesha. Now, Courtney, you said you don't have to have a casket, right. but if you do want a casket, can you tell us the price differences between traditional ones? There is a big difference between the two. So with traditional burial, caskets cost anywhere from about $1,000 all the way up to 30000 And with green burial, it's about 1600 And again, or no casket at all. Green burial is looking a lot better right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gaining in popularity. Good stuff. <laughs> Something to think about Thanks, a long yes. time from now. Yes. Thank you, Courtney.